Hello everyone, I am Sandhya Bhatt and today let us look at if you are looking to reduce your operating cost then why laying off your staff is not the answer. Now many a times when it comes to cost cutting organizations think of cutting down on their workforce. Assuming you had optimally planned your workforce in the first place then reducing the people count becomes extremely counterproductive. Typical way senior leaders approach such layoffs is by asking their directors to restructure their own group in a way where they are able to let go of couple of their current staff members. Now directors in turn look to their managers and supervisors to select people who should stay or go. Doing this in an unstructured way not only does not save money for the organization but in fact over time it will cost you a lot more than it would have been if you have just let your current staff continue. Because this typical approach has several issues associated with it. Now first of all remember you had hired your current staff for a reason. If you let go of a few people then it burdens the remaining team which is not a sustainable solution since over time they are sure to feel stressed out and fatigued and will probably request special medical absence. This in turn will increase your benefit costs. Plus many a times managers and supervisors choose people who they would like to stay within their team. This may or may not be the most productive member. In such instances the true and total cost of downsizing considering severance pay and other payments is many a times even worse than continuing with the current staff. In addition, overwork and low morale leads to missed timelines and unsatisfied customers. The fear of possible job loss along with the ensuing negative feedback and angry customers further lowers employee morale and increases emotional fatigue. All of this finally leads to totally disengaged employees and an extremely toxic work environment. Now I'm sure you're going to ask if I should not be letting go of my current staff but I know I need to reduce my operating cost then what are my options? Well, we'll cover that in the next video. Till then, stay tuned and remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and like and share this video. I'll catch you in the next video. Till then, have a fantastic time ahead.